hi everyone thank you for watching again so today i'm going to show you guys how i achieve this cute and easy hairstyle which can be done in less than 30 to 40 minutes i say can because that's not what happened to me but i will tell you guys in a minute hope you enjoyed the video So normally I would start on freshly washed and blown out hair. That's like my favorite starting point. But unfortunately this time I didn't have the time to wash and blow out her hair. So I decided to start on dirty hair and then uh, postpone our wash day. I would not recommend this to anyone because um, starting on dirty hair that's uh, not fully blown out um will cause pain and breakage because the hair is dry and it took me like three times longer to section the hair um, because her roots were all puffed out and tangled and i didn't want to hurt her and i also didn't want to break her hair so it took me three times longer to do the same hairstyle which is traumatizing for your girl and also traumatizing for you too so that's why i always start on freshly washed and blown out hair it's just way easier and less painful on her and um it causes less breakage on the hair as well anyways first thing i want is to get a clean part in the middle of her hair so that i can divide her hair into three parts I wanted to show you guys how much of an effort it is to part her hair um, on not fully blown out hair. Her roots are already puffy and um, tangled. So I had to be very, very gentle on her hair. Um, it took me about three minutes just to get this part. So it's not worth it, definitely. After I've parted her hair into three parts, I'm making another section going from the center of her head to the back of her ears. Because I'm going to braid these sections, it's crucial that they are detangled fully. Um, I do not recommend detangling on dry hair. Uh, but it's necessary for this hairstyle again it's painful and it causes unnecessary breakage so if you can avoid it please do As you can tell her hair is extremely dry so I make sure to moisturize it using a leave-in conditioner and a styling cream to lock in the moisture. I will make sure to put all of the products I used in the description box below. A great trick to get a bigger bun is to create two twists and then wrap them around each other. I love using my favorite styler gel to uh, clean up her edges and to make sure everything looks tight and right. At the back of her hair, I'm creating even more twists to get a bigger bun and then wrapping them around each other.
Once I'm finished with my buns, it's time to uh, start on the middle braid, which is so easy to do. You just braid it along and then flip it back and attach it to the bigger bun. Because her scalp is really dirty, I used a mint infused oil to relieve the itching and make sure that um, her scalp looks clean. That was it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments box below and I'll make sure to answer them ASAP.